Anyone who drinks from the fountain will fall under Barcelona's spell and is destined to return. So if you want to come back, take a drink. The newspapers immediately labelled her the Vampire of the Raval, and the witch hunt was on. This is Royal Plaza, and it's stunning. Instagram moment ahead. When they announced they were raising the price by 50%, there was an outrage. Barcelona's women rioted first. This is Pont de Bisba. It's one of Barcelona's most Instagrammed sites. Underneath the bridge, there's a skull and dagger. Don't look at it. Your life depends on it. One day, Signor Gaudi was taking his daily walk to church to take confession. At the very last moment, he noticed he'd stepped in front of a tram, so jumped back two steps. Imagine it without those beautiful spires on top, without the fancy facade on the front, fewer windows, and just a plain boring door. Well, that's how it used to look. You are currently walking on the same ground that Pablo Picasso trod. He lived right here on this street. He hadn't become famous yet, so his art wasn't selling, so it was a crappy apartment in what was considered a crappy area at the time. We've all been there.